Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this module video tutorial I will show you how to use the truncate table command in SQL Server and then we will see that what is the difference between the delete and truncate command. So we will look at the truncate command in this particular example. So let's jump to the demo. In SQL Server, the truncate command is used to quickly remove all the rows from a table, essentially resetting the table to its original empty state. Delete command is a DML command which is also called as data manipulation command while the truncate table is a DDL data definition language operation. Okay, So let's take a look at the syntax of the DDL command. We simply need to write truncate table and then we need to type the table name. For example, employee you can type here. Okay, In place of the employee, uh, you can specify of the name of the table you want to truncate. It's important to note that truncate table removes all rows from the table without logging the individual rows deletion, making it faster than the delete statement for the larger tables. Um, before using the truncate table, there are few things to keep in mind. The first one is that you need to have the alter permissions on the table. Additionally, you can't truncate a table that is referenced by a foreign key constraints or participating in an indexed view. So let me show you like what I'm talking about. Uh, let me create couple of tables those are having the foreign key relationship and then we will try to use the truncate command and ideally the truncate command should not work in those scenarios and we should use the delete command so what i'm doing here i'm going to drop the orders table and then going to drop the employees table then going to create the employees table orders table okay and then i will try to use the truncate command so i just uh, created two tables here the orders table and the employees table okay and uh, now the employees table this is being re referenced by a foreign key you know if you see here so in the orders table i'm using the employees table as a foreign key so now the employees table it cannot be truncated by the truncate table so if i execute this query truncate table then it will fail okay first i can show you like selecting some of the data from the table like i got two tables here employees table and the orders table okay and uh, I can show you the data in this particular table so this table contains some data now if I try to run the truncate table command then this will fail it will say that cannot truncate the table because it is being referenced by a foreign key constraints okay although you can delete the data but before deleting the data uh, you know you need to remove the data from the orders table so suppose if I delete the data first from the employees table then it will say that there are some data you know or which exists in the orders table so first you should try to delete the data from the orders table okay so i can just delete the data from the orders table first okay so now the data from the orders table have been deleted and now i can uh, use the delete command but still i cannot use the truncate command if i try the truncate command again then it will still fail that you know you cannot truncate the table because it is being referenced by a foreign key although now i can use the delete command and all data got deleted now my both the tables are empty but still i can't use the truncate command here so this is one of the scenario that you cannot use a truncate table when a table is being referenced by a foreign key okay now uh, let me show you another thing that suppose if i have a table which contains the identity value so when you use a truncate command then it also reset the value of the identity field okay so i'm executing the query here so it just dropped the customer table created the customer table here and id is the identity value and it starts from one and it inserted 10 records into the customer table now let me select the data from the customer table so it has the 10 records now now suppose if i use the truncate table here so it can delete all the data from the customer table okay and the identity value will also be reset as well so right now the data got removed from the customer table and uh, the identity value is also got reset now suppose if i insert the 10 records again then the data will be inserted the id will start from the one okay so if i select the data you can see that the id started from the value one okay now in case if i use the delete query here so the delete query can delete all data from the table but it does not reset the value of the identity field so now all data got deleted by using the delete command now if i reinsert the data 
then instead of inserting the id from the 1 what it will do it will start the id from the 11 because earlier there were 10 records and now because i use the delete command so the delete command does not reset the identity value it start the identity value from the point what whatever was the max identity value earlier so the max identity value was 10 so now because i deleted all the data and inserted 10 records so now the identity value will start from the 11 number okay so it will like 11 12 13 and now if i delete the data again then the next time when i insert the data the id will start from the 21 okay and so on so it is started from 21 but now if you truncate the data then it reset the identity value and now the id will start from the position number one okay so this is the major difference between the delete and truncate that the truncate table reset the identity value however the delete command does not reset the identity value now if you want to filter the data based on some conditions you want to use some filter condition for example you want to delete the records where the age is greater than maybe like 30 so you can use a where clause with the delete command like where age is greater than 30 but you cannot use a um, where clause with a truncate table because the truncate table just delete all the data from the table it does not delete row by row it just deallocate all the pages and just removes everything okay so now you can use the where clause in the delete command but you cannot use a where clause in the truncate table so it is recommended to use the truncate table when you want to quickly remove all the records from a table and want to reset it especially when dealing with the large amount of data and the performance optimization is crucial so i will share all the queries that i used here and you can download them from the link in the description of the video yeah so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel Press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.